Hello. This is a very, very, very important video. You must, you must, you must see it. Okay, you must, don't close this down, okay? I mean, it's, it's your loss, okay? Um, I'm going to explain some things here. Here, that, that, um, I mean, something happened tonight. I just, um, I just found more and more and more and more. I started looking into the heart, the heart stuff, the heart symbolism, and it basically never ended. And um, so I started here, you see the three things, the heart, the keys, the keys of heaven, and lime. And that's where I started, and I ended up discovering uh, the tree of life and uh, oh that's pretty big guys yeah yeah it is and be hard on me be, now you can criticize me if you want you can you can tell me ma'am you're you're off here but i'm not okay i'm not everything is like this uh, okay. Uh, let's let's go, guys. Let's go. The heart. The heart is a symbol of uh, the Christ consciousness, seen like this, right? And it is depicted in many, uh, in much different art. Okay. And the keys is the keys of heaven that was given to Saint Peter which became the first Pope and that's why the Pope uh, the, the papal stuff has the keys there they have the gold and silver key because Peter was the first Pope he was chosen by Jesus to represent the connection to the divine. Okay, maybe you didn't know. Well, that's that's what happened. And then we have lime. And this is the thing. Peter is laughing. Haha. <laughs> you know the Peter Stone is laughing because. Um, the truth must be true from every perspective, but if it's true from every perspective, then how how come no one saw it? Well, uh, well, do I have to answer that? I have no freaking idea. It, it the only the only the, the only result of such a question is. Um, uh, a solitude of, on, on my part, like I'm the only one existing. But let's not let's let, let's not think like that. I I, I, I prefer not to, and because it, it's it's really it's really in our face this this stuff. It's in our face. So so we have the lime. Peter is laughing, haha. And you search for lime on Google, and you still you're still not getting the 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 limestone. You know, I'm talking about limestone, but here I am on lime, and I'm telling you this is an important video. Well, the lime. The lime? What about lime? Um, well. Uh, the most sold lime fruit is the fruit that you're seeing, and it's the... It's called key lime. The Persian lime is actually the the absolutely most sold one it is a it is a, uh, it's a hybrid between lemon and key lime so so uh, the first image when you search for lime the first the first image that pop, pops up it is the key lime you know i'm telling you that, that lime is the philosopher's stone and so is the fruit you know the fruit is the key to heaven also because the truth has to be true everywhere from all directions all the time it, it, it's true everywhere it has to be because it's it's poetry also it's it's at the same time this reality is poetry as you can see 
So nine. And below the first image, you can see uh, something that looks like a lemon. Well, that's the Persian line. It looks like that. It's the most sold one. But um, I have mostly seen the, the key line. The key line is everywhere. And then you have the Persian line. Both are, both are keys. Both are keys. Yeah. Both, both are lime. Both are keys to heaven. Okay. 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 Peter is laughing. You know. He's laughing. You can see why, right? Uh, so um, let's get back to the heart. You know, I'm telling you that it's about the heart also, and um, yeah, it is because it's the sacred heart. Of, yeah, uh, and you can see. If you search for where does the heart symbol come from, you will see that pine cone is mentioned. It was first depicted uh, 1250 by a French uh, in a French manuscript, okay, and they it's described on the internet as as, as being pine cone shaped. You know, this is the Google result uh, for this kind of search. And um, then you can add to this also that the fact that uh, both the heart and the pineal gland has been called the seat of the soul. Both of them are, you see. And how can this be? And it also relates to the feminine, you know. I've been talking about the div divine fem feminine. It's like there is a heart. There's a heart in your chest, but there's another heart in your mind, almost like that, you know. Um, there's a f physical heart in your, in the middle of your body, in your chest, but in uh, in the mind there is a metaphysical heart, maybe say. Um, let's discover the tree of life from the heart. What is this? It's a tree with a heart shape. It's a lime tree. Yeah, of, of course, lime tree. It has to be like this. It has to be like this, guys. So the lime tree looks like a heart because it's it represents the, the Christ, uh, the sacred heart, right? And it's not really, it's, it's, it's not only, it's not only imaginative to say like that, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, okay, sure, uh, I imagine it, and so, and so it shall be almost, but, um, so, as I see, the lime tree was a sacred tree in ancient Greece, Greece and Egypt, it's actually the tree of life. And now, and this is this is just this is fact, okay? Um, and it's it's so amazing, okay? I, I I will show you more stuff. Don't worry because maybe you are like thinking, okay, I need I need more proof, you know? You need more proof. I'm going to give it to you. Don't worry, it's it's coming now. But first of all, we're going to connect this because lime is is, is the milk, you know? And so. Uh, the milk and honey uh, because yeah why not so let's listen to this video here of course this video is square it's it, it's just like my video all videos that I look is square or square so I'll, I'll leave a link to this square video it's just a square today we're going to talk about honey from one of the bees favorite trees linden the Greeks coined the linden tree as the tree of life, and it can be found blooming all across the northern hemisphere. Tree of life. Linden trees differ slightly around the globe, but all linden trees from the genus Tilia produce excellent honey. You can so, so linden is the official name of the lime tree. It's, it's, it's called both 
linden and lime tree okay so so now you know uh, lime tree is linden usually spots a linden tree by how many bees it will have attracted linden trees only blossom for three weeks in the year but produce a massive amount of nectar bees are naturally drawn to the trees and will rush to gather as much nectar as they can carry in late spring to early summer linden goes by many names in many places basewood honey linden honey and even lime honey thanks to its distinctive taste Descri basewood honey linden honey and even lime lime honey you see oh that, that that's freaking that's freaking milk and honey lime honey thanks to its distinctive taste described as spicy citrusy and sweet this light colored honey comes with strong summery flavor with some unique nutritional benefits ranging from acid reflux prevention to the treatment of gut problems and fighting infections. Zesty, summery, and lovely favorite trees, linden. The Greeks coined the linden tree as the Germans talk about honey from one of the bee's favorite trees, linden. The Greeks coined the linden tree as the tree of life, and it can be found blooming all across the Northern Hemisphere. Linden trees differ slightly around the globe, but all linden trees from the genus Tilia produce excellent honey. You can usually spot a linden tree by uh, so let's continue, you know, it's the tree of life ac according to the Greek, but also Egyptians and I'm, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just so excited about this, you know, it, it fits so good to, to my, to my stuff, you know, it has to be like I say, you know, I want it my way, I want it my way, you know. Okay, I'll be serious. Um. I'm discovering the tree of life, I should maybe behave better, you know, so, yeah, yeah, you know, the, now, now, now we're coming to, to, to uh, Catholicism, you know, and into Christianity, because it's there, yeah, yeah, it is, it's the holy linden tree, the lady, and, um, you can find it even in the basilica that's uh, oh where is it right it's it's virgin mary in the tree of life which is the the lime tree lime tree linden tree is the lime tree because lime is the holy grail it is the vessel of the feminine that receives the honey so you see it's clear you, you should uh, you should realize this it's very clear what's going on here and uh, yeah so that's that's my presentation it, it's almost like, yeah, I, I want it to be like this. So it is, you know, the entire reality is like, like I want it to be, you know. Uh, when it comes to the symbolism, you know. Uh, so that's, that's really cool. The, the, the tree, the, the leaves of the tree is, is shaped like a heart. You know, I, I really like it. And, and, and then remember the, 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 the lime, not only the lime tree, but the lime. The lime is, a, is the key to heaven, you know, it's the key, it's the key lime, you know, you eat, you eat key lime, and you, you eat honey coming from lime tree, you know, or I, I don't know, I'll, I'll end the video, you know, I think, but it's, it's pretty clear what's going on, guys, and, uh, So, yeah. So that's all, guys. I see you. Let's see you another time. We we uh, poof poof, and and the lime tree became uh, the tree of life. That's that that's good. That's good. Good work. Uh, I'll add it to the next version of of the book. I I guess uh, coming sometime in the future. Uh, there is so much to, to write, so I, I, I don't know actually uh, when I will do that, you know, you, you know some stuff already, and uh, yeah, yeah.
I like the speed that this is progressing. It's just going very well. And, uh, and you can see here also, I talked about the divine feminine. And I am so happy to understand it. I feel, I feel that I, I, uh, I'm using, I'm, be, I'm going to be able to use the power of the feminine, and, and, and not, and not the fake feminine. You know, the, the feminism, the material feminism, or that, that is there to, to lure us away from the divine feminine. I hope you are not fooled by that. So I will end now by playing a song which is I will not speak anything more so you can simply close down the the video when you when you have had enough about the music I'll play another song see you another time Bye bye Yes, yes, yes. 